The two-day Law Enforcement Empowerment Summit is hosted at the Police Officers' Mess Annex, Eve Larry, Georgetown, under the theme Embrace Equity. During the summit, areas such as human resources management, skills, behaviors, communication skills, team building, decision making, gender differences, emotional intelligence, and mapping the road to entrepreneurship will be discussed. With these skills, it's expected that the attendees will be able to thrive in their profession to achieve their goals. One of the critical things that I think in the women's movement we've recognized for over a century or more is the issue of the link between rights, democracy, and development. Without human rights, without democracy, there can be no development. And women are the greatest sufferers when there is no democracy and, and no development. That was Minister of Parliamentary Affairs and Governance, Gail Tashira, who delivered brief remarks at the opening ceremony. She said women in society have always been leaders, but access to equal opportunities as their counterparts has been a challenge. The minister further noted that women must gain access to opportunities because women show the most interest in societal issues and development. Commissioner of Police, A.G. Clifton Hicken, in his remarks, said women play a major role in law enforcement and they continue to be valuable members in the team. Evolution is evident in the world in which we live and everyone should have an equal chance to strive and prosper in a just society. We must embrace equality before we can have a just and equitable society for all groups. Also highlighting that women continue to work hard and strive for better opportunities for themselves and their families was member of the Guyana Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Shaliza Shaw. Shaw noted that 40% of the businesses that are members of the GCCI are women-led. I expect to become more empowered after the summit because I do look forward to have new connections and build new relations with other females, be it uh, junior or senior officers across the Guyana Police Force, and just be more empowered as a woman. Coming out of the two days conference, we were expecting that our women would learn so much, you know. Oftentimes, women of, in society, especially our within the Guyana Police Force, we lack so much knowledge when it comes to women. For instance, like the history behind the women, how you know how we were able to vote, how we were able to achieve so much, um, how we were able to occupy offices, you know, things that like that we're expecting to have from the conference. How we should plan, you know, as mothers and law enforcement, how we should take care of our finances as women. On Wednesday, President Dr. Irfan Ali disclosed that women make up 26% of the senior officers in the joint services. And in terms of business support, women make up 60% of all of the country's investments within the Ministry of Tourism, Industry and Commerce. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Lizina Yearwood.